Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to the MMA Short Show. As always, your boy, Steven Moustares. And guys, man, I'm definitely going to be getting into UFC 291 this week and all the crazy fights that are happening this weekend. But, you know, the one thing I really want to talk about real quick, and it's the only thing I even really want to talk about, you know, over UFC London last night. You know, I thought it was a pretty terrible card. I don't know about you guys. I just, I don't know if it was because it started at noon here in Ohio and the main card started at four and I'm just so used to, or three, I think, and I'm so used to it starting at 10. But man, I just thought the fights were kind of, eh, this, I don't know, the the performances, the matchups, I just, I didn't think they were too great. But, you know, the one bright part about yesterday was Tom Aspinall just coming in and, just, you know, after his return, after blowing out his knee, you know, it was, it was a breath of fresh air for sure when it comes to the heavyweight division. But, you know, the one thing, man, I even said this back a couple months ago when they even announced these things. And I've been saying it quite literally, you know, pretty often here in every division on these weird matchups we've been getting. Like, honestly, guys, I mean, I know, you know, Tom Aspinall did his job last night. I know he looked phenomenal. But, like, let's be real real quick, guys. Like, Martian Turbira shouldn't even have been in that fight. That guy had no business even being in the same, you know, octagon as Tom Aspinall. Like, I know I get it, guys. Like, oh, we can't just put him up. Because, like, I even the Sergey Spivak fight against uh, Cyril Gaon, like, I could be wrong. Spivak could win, but I just don't think he's going to even touch him. I think I think Cyril's going to look amazing. Like, that could have been the matchup already. Like, why don't you put Spivak up against, you know, Tabira? Like, I, I get it. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just feel like the matchups are, eh, they're supposed to make these guys look good. And, you know, it is awesome, though. I don't want to take anything away from Tom Aspinall, but it is just like, Hey, let's settle down here because I see all these people talking about, oh, has there ever been a prospect like this at heavyweight? And it's like, yeah, there has. Cain Velasquez was one of them. You know, we you can go on for a while. Did Francis Naganu was one of them for a while there. Like freaking Frank Mir, Mir uh, Brock Lesnar, all these guys. Like you can go on back and back and back. And Andre Orlovsky when he was young doing the thing. Like you can go back quite a bit. And, you know, of course, Fedor Emelianenko. But if we're talking about UFC, like the Noguera brothers, like there's been so many. And it's it's one of those divisions, especially now, where it's like, dude, if, unless you're like that top four, like, you, you know, the Curtis Blades, the, you know, the Pavlovich, you know, the Tom Aspinall's, I guess you count John Jones in there, him and Stipe, but they're, I think they're going to retire each other here. And, you know, which is another point that I'm about to make. But, you know, those top guys are real gone as well. Like, outside of that, like, you're going to look good against all the other competitors. Like, and so it's, you know, I, I want to pump the brakes a little bit before we start praising Tom Aspinall too, too much. Cause you know, I don't know about you guys. I do notice he backs up a lot with his chin up in the air and he can get away with it against slower guys like Tabira and stuff. But I mean, just, just imagine what he would do, you know, him and Surreal gone, that matchup really actually gets me going. And I hope they actually can get that. I hope Surreal be, uh, beats me back, but you know, I wouldn't even be mad at one of these guys playing or uh, fighting Pavlovich. So you know, I'm pretty excited. I, I see what uh, Tom Aspinall's saying. I love how he's being, you know, real optimistic right now. You know, he's talking about, you know, oh, I'm going to take out, I'm going to go to France or whatever, and I'm going to take out, you know, Surreal gone, you know, the winner of that or Spivak, which is probably gone. And then he wants to beat John Jones, which I don't think he'll get a chance, sadly, unless John Jones just walks right through Stipe again, like, like he did gone. And then he's like, oh, OK, yeah, maybe, I, you know, maybe I will. But it seems like he's about to set his own retirement there in New York at his hometown. It That seems like what's going to happen. So I don't know if, you know, Tom Aspinall is going to get this chance. But boy, I'm excited to see what the future does hold for him because, the dude, his speed, his movement, it's it's going to be a real problem. And, you know, I do think he's a little better than Sirogan. You know, I it's like I said, it's easy. A heavyweight. Remember, we thought Sirogan was that guy. He thought he looked amazing. You know, Francis Ngannou got him with, you know, some, you know, takedowns and everything. And it looked like his grappling was kind of bad. But then we really noticed it against John Jones and everybody's calling fraud, you know, fake, all oh, this guy, you know, overhyped. And it's like, hey, we're doing that because they look good against other, you know, other, you know, heavyweights in the UFC that are, you know, like Jorgen DeCastro and these guys that I don't want to see ever again. You know, like I, I'm pretty sure Jorgen DeCastro is actually in the PFL. But you know what I'm saying? He was in the UFC for a while. And all, all the guys you can name, like old Andre Orlovsky, we always had the old guys going. Even even a fucking, like a, a Martian Tapira, even somebody like him, even a guy like Spivak, no offense to any of these guys. I just, eh, eh, you know, I don't think they're ever going to be something. So it doesn't mean they shouldn't fight because they're still great fighters. They would kick my ass personally, but against the other top four, you know, it's just, man, they're going to look good. So let's pump the brakes a little bit. And I know Tom Aspinall has got way better grappling than... Uh, surreal gone but i'm just saying let's just pump the brakes because what if pavlovich start like starches him what if curtis blades out wrestles him and takes him down fucks him if they get that rematch going what if surreal gone out classes him on the feet you know what happens of all these things like what if john jones walks through him and i just don't want people to be like oh fraud fake like 
these heavyweights look good. If you're good, you're going to look really, really good against them guys. So it's always your boy, Steven Musteris, and be on the lookout for sure for UFC 291 stuff this week. And let's go, baby. Let's go, baby.